In class activity three, design the following control system by selecting controller gains for 20.8% overshoot and for second settling time. So just like before, we first are going to use the system characteristics to come up with the desired characteristic equation. So 20.8% overshoot yields a zeta equal to 0 0.447, which yields a theta equal to 63.44 degrees. The settling time is equal to four seconds, which is equal to four over sigma d. Therefore, sigma d equals one. Omega d is equal to the tangent of 63.44 degrees, which is equal to two. So the dominant poles are negative one plus or minus J2. So the desired characteristic equation is S plus one plus J2, S plus one minus J2. And we're just going to pick a third pole that's at least five times away from these. So it's going to be S plus five which simplifies to s squared plus 2s plus 5 times s plus 5. And finally, the desired characteristic equation, delta d of s, is s cubed plus 7s squared plus 15s plus 25. So next, we are going to derive a minus bk. A minus BK is equal to negative five one zero zero negative two one zero zero negative one minus zero zero one times K one K two K three which equals negative five one zero zero negative two one zero zero negative one minus zero 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 k1 k2 k3 so finally we have negative five one zero zero negative two one negative k1 negative k2 negative one minus K3. So next we find SI minus A minus BK, which is S0, 0, 0, S0, 0, 0, 0, S, minus negative 5, 1, 0, 0, negative 2, 1, negative K1, negative K2, negative 1 minus K3 which equals S plus five, zero, K1, negative one, S plus two, K2, zero, negative one, S plus one plus K3. The determinant of SI minus A minus BK is equal to S cubed plus K3 plus eight S squared plus 17 plus seven K3 plus K2 S plus 10 plus K1 plus five K2 plus 10 K3. So now we compare this to our desired characteristic equation and solve for K1, K2, and K3. K3 plus eight is equal to seven. So K3 is equal to negative one. 17 plus K3 plus K2 equals 15. So K2 equals five. And 10 plus K1 
plus 5k2 plus 10k3 equals 25. So k1 equals 0. So finally, our answer is 0, 5, negative 1 for k. There is an alternate way to solve in-class activity 3 by getting the following control system into controller canonical form. So I will now quickly show you how to do that. The first thing we do is we derive the transfer function for this state space system. So t of 3 is equal to c times si minus a inverse b plus d. And from there, we can derive the transfer function, which is s plus 4 over s cubed plus 8s squared plus 17s plus 10. And then we convert that into the controller canonical form and we get x dot is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 10, negative 17, negative 8 times x plus 0, 0, 1, u and y is equal to 4, 1, 0, x. And then using our same specifications for the characteristics, we get that the desired poles are at negative one plus or minus j2. But now for our desired characteristic equation, we're going to use s plus one plus j2, s plus one minus j2, but we're gonna make the third pole such that it cancels out this zero at negative four. So we're going to make the third one s plus four. So our desired characteristic equation is s cubed plus 6s squared plus 13s plus 20. So now we repeat what we did before and we find a minus bk. a minus bk is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 10 minus k1 negative 17 minus k2, and negative 8 minus k3. Next we solve for si minus a minus bk, which equals s negative 1, 0, 0, s negative 1, 10 plus k1, 17 plus k2, and s plus 8 plus k3. And now we find the characteristic equation for this system, which is the determinant of si minus the quantity a minus bk, which equals s cubed plus 8 plus k3 s squared plus 17 plus k2 s plus 10 plus k1. Finally, we equate coefficients in order to find k1, k2, and k3, and we get that k1 is equal to 10, k2 is equal to negative 4, and k3 is equal to negative 2, or we can write this as k is equal to 10, negative 4, negative 2, and this completes today's lecture on state space controller design. Have a great day.